Okay, good day, good day. Welcome, 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 um, Andrew and Natalie, Nathan. Glad you could come and join us. Look at this picture here that we're going to look at a little bit today. This picture was by Jan Anare Frachonard. Uh, Le Belle Du. All right, that's that's good of the French as we can do. And yes, he was a Frenchman, and uh, it is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, so that's not too far from here, even though it's a French painting. One of the interesting things, look at the dog, isn't that a funny, uh, a comfy looking dog? You want to just go and pet it, don't you? And she's got flowers in her uh, hand and a stack of letters that she's writing. All right, this is the picture we're going to be looking at today as we do our thinking and our understanding of vocabulary and such. We're going to start by remembering the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue primary colors. Secondary colors are orange, green, and violet. Very good. So today we're going to first of all look at a new word and it is called portrait. This is a portrait of this lady who has these flowers and this um, this uh, dog and it's a, just a portrait of her and her life. Okay, A portrait is a picture of someone. All right, so that's the first thing that we're learning and that's what we're going to see with this picture here. Now we looked at all of our colors and so let's remember here what colors do we see? Do we see the primary colors? Reds, yellows, and blue. A little bit of bluish going on here. And secondary colors, orange, maybe a little bit going on here. Orange and green, maybe a little bit here. And violet, I don't see much, just a tad maybe right there. Those colors are in here. Now remember Larry the line and the vertical, diagonal, horizontal, and all the shapes. You go ahead and listen to that video again. All the lines that he can make. What kind of lines are here that we can see? We have some vertical lines going on right here in the um, in the stool. That's good. We have some curved lines going on up here in the window. That's good. Some diagonal lines. If you look, her back is on a diagonal. This isn't quite horizontal, but it has the appearance of being horizontal. And a lot of just flowy lines throughout the entire thing. All right, so then we talked a little bit about background and foreground. So the background of this picture would be this wall back here. That would be the background. And the foreground would be up here. Maybe the dog would be the foreground, the table legs, and part of her skirt. So those two things we've talked about. Now we're going to talk about one more thing about color. Bouncing a little bit back and forth. It's called complementary colors. And what it's talking about in the color wheel that we have looked at many times, you have the red and the complement of the red is directly across it. So if we see here in this particular picture, we look a little close at the complementary colors, you can see red and across it is a green. So this is showing you all the different complementary colors. So a lime green is a violet, and a blue is an orange, or, or blue is a yellow orange, or violet is a yellow, and so the different hues will go and make the different complements. And a little bit more again here, we have the yellow orange and a blue violet. Those are complementary co colors. A complement is something you give to somebody and say, oh, that looks, you look nice today. Oh, you did your hair real nice. You spoke so nicely to me. Those are compliments. And with complementary colors, we're sort of complementing each other, making it look nice together. So a blue and an orange looks nice together. And a red and a green look nice together. Okay? And so do we have complementary colors going on in this particular picture? Well, let's see here. The complementary color of a blue-green would be a yellow orange so definitely there's complementary colors going on in this particular picture as well so let me show you the project that you're going to do today the 
project you're going to do today, you need to start with a piece of paper and ask somebody to nice draw a nice circle or get maybe a quarter and draw around it right in the middle of the paper because that's going to be your starting spot. And on the um, playlist, you'll see a book called The Dot. And you go ahead and listen to that book first before you do this particular project. So pause it, go listen to that, and come back. All right, so now after you've listened to The Dot, let me just show you what we're going to do. This is Cassie Stevens. That's the book The Dot. We want to give her thanks for all of the inspiration for this particular project. What we're going to do today, her students did two or three different colors. We're going to just deal with complementary colors. So I want you to choose a color and then find its complement and use those two. We're going to be painting again today, so get your paintbrush out. Remember we have the bristle, the ferrule, and the handle. We call this ferrule the danger zone. We don't want to touch it. We want to put our fingers way back here on the other side of the ferrule when we do our painting on our paper. All right, so this is what it will look like. You paint the whichever color you choose in that center dot, the complementary color, right next to it. And then you go back and forth and make circles. Make them really big until you get to all the way to the end of the paper. And that's the project that we're doing today. And it's called the dot painting. So what, I'm going to send you this particular thing as well. It is something that you can color in and you can practice on the color wheel. We have yellow, green, blue, violet, red, and orange in that order. There's a triangle which represents the primary colors and the, all of the others are secondaries. So I didn't cut the, color the whole thing in, but I did do a start on it. I do have the primary colors colored in, and then I started a little bit on the girl there. So you can go ahead and color that in. Remind yourself of the primary colors, the secondary colors on the color wheel. And if you want to just add colors, the little girl, color the art, color the border, put your name on the top of it, and just make it look really, really pretty. We got that uh, from Tara Mayaski. Uh, M-I-Y-A-S-E-A-K-I -E off of the internet. We thank her for that too. So that's all we're doing today. Remember all of the different things that we learned, especially the project. Isn't that cool? Let's come close on it. Ooh, have a good day.